Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna play on the Cleric. I'm gonna be honest, I can't have enough of playing Cleric. I'm just having way too much fun, and pretty much, um, even with the Judgment, the Cleric feels really damn good. But there is a better build that you can use, which is gonna be the uh, Smite and Divine Protection, but I'm gonna use Judgment instead, because I like the option to land range attacks. But in current day and age and current state of the game, the Divine Protection is gonna be a lot more healthier, I would say especially when you're playing cleric because consider how many uh, landmine rogues there is all right so i want to talk quickly about the current state of the meta of the game before we're gonna hop in the game right now right now cleric is s tier it's right on top and right below right below there is classes such as rogue such as um ranger and um, bard these three classes are on top of the food chain right after the cleric i forgot to mention one which is the warlock the basically the warlock remains to be S tier class right below cleric so first one gonna be cleric then gonna be warlock then gonna be classes then pretty much everything gonna line up the ranger rogue bard gonna be um, a tier and the rogue is gonna ha have the nearly S tier potential to land mine literally every single uh, class in the game and uh, here's the problems that i'm gonna explain why would it better for the game to have a meta cleric instead of rogues rangers withers or bards i'm the guy who played the game for 3120 hours nearly 20 well it's 19 and pretty much out of these uh 3000 hours i spent at least 15,000 playing on the rogue a while back when i was farming a leaderboard and grinding pills this is what pretty much i enjoyed the absolute most and pretty much when the rogue can kill literally every class the game becomes completely unenjoyable because you would literally need to be worried about every single rogue in the game and when there is at least one geared rogue in the game the whole gameplay the whole game style completely changes pretty much you would have to go to door from door if you don't see no mobs there uh well you would have to wait for quite a while and then uh it's just such a not a cool experience to play against good geared rogues it's actually quite ridiculous and um i'm gonna be honest it's rather for the cleric to be the s tier class than the rogue or ranger or warlock or bard because for the cleric cleric doesn't really have much range options and uh, for the cleric to win the battle you gotta get real close to people and because the cleric even though you can get a lot of move speed still like um you wouldn't be able to be both very fast and very tanky and very healthy at the same time as of right now i have a pretty good kit and with this pretty good kit i have 296 move speed 134 health and uh, 33 physical damage reduction so pretty much a landmine rogue will be able to eliminate if the landmine rogue will decide to do so but um at the same time at the same time why do I think the cleric is better? It's mainly due to the fact that the cleric will always have to commit to a melee fight against any of these. And the warlock, for example, if the warlock is an S tier, oh boy. Pretty much what's gonna happen is warlock gonna cast two curses and you will die. For example, if ranger gonna be on top, well, ranger just gonna shoot you a couple of arrows and you're gonna be at below half HP. A ranger gonna switch to a spear and you will die in a couple of hits. Or... Or Ranger gonna shoot a couple of arrows, will switch up to, um, you know, unsheath the weapon, throw that survival bow or long bow, whatever the fuck the bow that is, somewhere else and just simply run away from you. And then basically when you're chasing a 330 move speed ranger and the moment you will feel like you're about to catch the ranger up the reality it's not that you're about to catch him it's more like you're about to step in a trap because this is how the rangers play in the game they want to bait you into the trap and that's partially the main reason why the ranger meta is just not right the next one is going to be the wizard wizard basically just imagine um I know, like, uh, imagine Armageddon. <laughs> Basically, this is what the class is. It's just gonna, if the wizard is on the top and wizard was on top of the food chain for a long amount of time, in trios, it's been on top of the food chain for a year and uh, it's still pretty good, like, you know, on, like, it's still always good in, like, fucking trios. In solos, it was literally high end A plus, almost S tier class, like, but main, the downside of a wizard, it would, it could pr quite easily get landmined by a rogue and, um, for a wizard in order to succeed you would actually have to commit a good amount of gear but if you commit a good amount of gear if you have the combination of a shield if you have the combination so pretty much um, if you're gonna have specific type of combination like the ice shield and um, arcane shield 
Well, here's the problem. Um, someone's gonna hit you once. One, you're gonna have a lot more health than you're supposed to have. And two, that person gonna get slowed down and you will be able to get away. And Wizards have one of the best um, melee close range fights, which is the magic missiles. The moment the Wizard casts magic missiles, no matter what class you are, you're gonna get burned down. You're gonna get cooked fighter right now um is fighter is good fighter is good like i don't know man i've been like i heard that slayer fighter is not good well i i think fighter is quite decent it just um you gotta land them shots the moment you land one good or shot with a windless crossbow boom that's that's kind of it you're cooking man you just go and fight people with the recent stiletto buff you can actually use a pretty cool combination of arming swords with stiletto and you will be able to actually slap them chicks pretty hard so pretty much if i get to say if i get to say my final opinion one way or another there is always always going to be one class at the top of the food chain and if there is one class that um, i'd like to be on top of the food chain that's better be cleric it's still gonna be it's a lot better for clerics to be on top a lot better than rangers a lot better than warlocks a lot better than wizards and especially rogues and bards bards been way too strong for too long but bards do require you for you to use each and every song and um, if you use songs right bard become the complete menace because it will have enough counter it can slow you down it can speed up itself um too much stats too much attributes and um even with uh, more or less mid gear the bard become a complete menace just due to the fact that you will be able to kite people around um for way too long so if i get to say my final opinion do i think the cleric is strong yes cleric is strong but do I think the cl its cleric is healthy for the game? I think this is the case here. I think it's rather be cleric who are, are the absolute strongest than um, rogues, wizards, warlocks, bards, or rangers. Because once again, if you want to win as a cleric, you would have to get really close and you would have to, you know, get active. It's not like you would just be able to sit behind the corner, behind the traps, or while being in invis and just like, you know, completely destroy people without a single chance. For cleric, you actually got to get close, you got to commit to a fight, you got to, you know, do that. So pretty much, as for now, this is the kit that we're going to have. It's a fairly budget kit. This is what we're going to start out with. And then pretty much after this, we're going to move on and we're going to um, we're gonna slightly upgrade our gear while prioritizing using the exact same pieces but with just better quality. I'm always gonna use the flange maze because I absolutely love the flange maze and I'm not sure if I want to play with war mold but I might as well play with it and basically this is kind of pretty much it. Anyway let's hop in the video and let's go clap some chicks. Looks like we have a very geared guy here. Holy cow brother. Full best. Double grim smiles. God damn! And it's also like without the fact that um, he does have two pieces, so he's probably at around 160, 165 health. Holy cow, brother. Well, anyway, we gotta find him and we're gonna try and fight him. So let's do that. Interesting. Someone killed mobs here. Hmm. I hope it's not a rogue. Oh, that's a fighter. Let's see what he is up to. Ah, oh, he shot me. Stat checks? It would take just about as many hits for him to kill me as for me to kill him. Even a month. So, if he shot me once with a crossbow and shot me, like, one headshot and maybe two body shots, that would be enough to kill me. And I do believe I need to... Use judgment on him. And then hit him. One, two, three. Three times. <laughs> Sorry. I'm surprised he just decided to turn around. The guy was actually geared. 150 health. Got a plenty of PDR and he just didn't even bother to try and fight me. Thing is, the guy was actually quite a high level. I don't even know what the heck is that. If you've tried to pop up a blue pot and... um. It would take for me at least one more hit to kill him. So I don't even know, bro. It was a little weird, but it's okay. Wait a second. Something I'd write. I heard something. What the heck? What? What just happened? 
Where the fuck this guy came from? Wait. Hold on a minute. What the fuck was that? Is that a fucking illusion? Yo, I think I slept pretty well tonight. Holy cow, he just appeared on my screen out of nowhere. Out of fucking sane air. Oh, he's faster, by the way. Okay. One. Oh, he's fucking zooming. Zooming out of here. Ah, rip. Yep, that's it, he's gone. Oh well, I'll find him some other time. It's okay. Damn. He probably actually felt that I almost cocked him. So I'm not 100% certain if you would be interested in continuing the fight. But I'm genuinely curious how the fuck did he end up going through the ground. I'm genuinely curious. I'll have to figure that out at some point. By the way, there is a still a very, very gear drop in the lobby, so I do need to be very cautious about that guy. Not though that, that cautious about this one in particular. Bomb and one more. Oh, I missed. One more. Oh, actually, thank you, boy. Holy cow. Took some hits. Alright, let's actually be very careful here. Gotta loot this guy up really quick. And get the fuck out of here. Okay, that's mage. Ow. Fucking don't like getting hit by a mage. Gotta get close, I guess. Okay. It's pretty good. Pretty much majority of this is pretty decent, I would say. I really, really need to be careful with that bro. There's one thing I know for sure, he doesn't have a creep. So he wouldn't be able just to land mine me, but um... You never know. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay, good thing I have a smite, he decided to back off. Okay. Alright, so now we know the um, cutthroat completely removes smite. Well, that's a good piece of information. Because I was slightly uncertain, I'm gonna be honest. There's some people said that um, people already used the smite. The cutthroat not gonna remove it. No, it will remove it. Like, basically, it will remove the buffs. Alright, let's play the door game, the usual. How do you play against a geared people as a cleric? Well, you just hack doors. Very simple. You don't have much move speed, and your best bet would be to fight in a tight um, areas, like such as doorways, etc. Basically, less space there is, better it is for you. Less place there's gonna be for people to try and maneuver. And basically, this is why it's not a bad idea. So if he's gonna walk up into the doorway and uh, let me let me blast him a little, one Q should be enough. I probably will be able to catch up to him, but I'm um, not 100% certain. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. I do burn through the pods, but i um, just being cautious here. Okay, wasted my judgment. And that is absolutely fine. The time is on our side. Alright, let's see what he's up to. One, two, one more. I double headshot him, that's the reason why I killed him. Even without smite, double headshot with the mace um, would do a lot of damage. Okay, not bad. The guy messed up big time. Um, he could have killed me, but he didn't. He should have waited for longer to use the ambush and get really close, but he didn't. I was able to see him pretty much through the whole encounter. I'm gonna be honest, that probably is a little too much stuff for one game. I wouldn't even be able to carry all the cheese away. Those pants, they're not very good, so... But as for the rest, I do want to take, like, necklace. Boats, yeah, legendary boats with move speed is actually gonna be quite pricey. And also, I want to take a better quality pods and make sure that um, I have every right bandage, because bandages are quite useful. Especially when they're better quality. Oh, these are pretty good too. Alright, we're just gonna go into the next game. I'm gonna dump everything in this stash. I cleared up one full stash for the whole session. So pretty much you will be able to track all the progress and all the stuff that I was able to encounter. And pretty much everyone I killed, you will be able to see those items at the end screen. Alright, that seems like there's anyone here, so it's very likely someone spawned either someone north or south. It's one of two. Nobody spawned in the prison, just go south or north. Doesn't really matter. And you're gonna come across someone. 
So just very simple. Usually, oh, by the way, we have a guy here. By the way, there wasn't a single low level player, so pretty much everyone has experience. So I'm not gonna let anyone survive in this raid. <laughs> At least I'll try not to. Double headshot, and the second hit didn't count as a headshot. Interesting. Even this guy has some cheese, I know for a fact. Couple items with the right stats. Well, he may not have a lot, well, he definitely has something. But there are two people that are actually very geared. This guy? Yeah, this is the one. And there's also a very geared fighter, and hopefully I come across those. If I try to push this ranger, he will absolutely spin me. I wouldn't really stand a single chance against this guy. But, um, well, I'm gonna show you example how to deal with rangers as a cleric. Pretty much, you just gotta be patient. Patience is gonna be on your side. Just, um, remember one thing. You're not allowed to push ranger. And if you wanna win, you gotta come up with something. So... I want him to walk into this room. Ideally, ideally, he come across this um, pillar or cone or whatever this is, and I'll smite him. Or I could try go upstairs right here and try to jump on him. But a flame mage doesn't really have much range, and I also might mess up. Okay. Okay, he's coming up. I don't think you can jump over this, can you? Even this is sh crouch, it just doesn't work. I fucked up. Simple as that. Okay. And I couldn't even use Q this whole time. Well, we fucked up a little. Let's go back. Let's heal up and let's uh, control him. We can't let him get out of here. If anything, you gotta stay there. It's gonna be better for us because right now, we're not the one who is cornered. He is. I'm the oppressive class, he is defensive class. And basically that's why... Okay, what? I'm... Holy fuck, bro, I'm... So bad. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna get him. Ah. It's not that deep. Sometimes I mess up too, you know? It's my second game of the day. And that class is faster than I by at least like 20 more speed. So it's actually quite understandable. Alright, let's play a door game and let's try to close it. Simply to bother the guy. At some point he may end up over pushing and he will end up dying. We're just gonna kite around to run the door for a few seconds. And then at some point we'll try to use the judgment on him. I'm gonna try to close the door again here. Yep. He started to feeling it. He started to feeling that. And he died. Well, GG brother. Gotta loot this guy really quick. And um, make sure we don't get third bited. Because um, other than the fighter, there is uh, still a couple of geared players. But the very geared one was the Giga Juicy um, High PDR, high move speed fighter build with the survival ball. That's definitely the guy that I absolutely love to fuck with. Oh, holy cow, bro. This guy is actually cheesy. He got some biz. Oh, damn. Yo, those are pretty sick. I'm gonna be honest. Damn, that's not bad either. Hell yeah. Okay, dokie. Oh, bro. That spear kind of slaps. Wait a second. I have someone here. I heard some. I definitely heard something. Let's go see what's up. Okay. Hmm. No, I'm 100% certain I heard something. I'm not sure what. That's probably the fighter. Ow. Should have tried to judge him. It's okay. Alright, well, line is very simple. Let's do a very simple strategy, kite around doors. 
the idea is actually quite simple and I probably already explained it, but um, I'm going to show you this strategy and this strategy works against any tier players. The better the player is, the better the strategy will work. So this is just how it works. The higher the scale, the more chances the player will get baited because the higher skilled players, they have more ego. And basically, we're just going to use that ego against them. Okay, let's heal up. Do we need to heal up? No, we don't. But let's just use potion anyway. Because if we get hit, we'll instantly get a little bit of our HP back. Alright, he's using beer. I'm trying to push him because he has his royal bow and I don't. And um, in a fair fight, he would absolutely destroy me because um, I'm running like a 3000 gold kit. Actually, more like 2000. Oh, holy hell. He shot my arm. And he's running like 10,000 gold kit or something. Okay. Gotta let him shoot. Push him and close that door. Alright, he's missing everything. Okay. He's gonna push again. We're gonna close the door. Alright, he's gonna open it up. We're gonna close the door. Okay, he's missing everything. Probably we, it's a good time to go in. Yeah, I think it's not bad. Let's do it. Next time we're actually gonna go in. Okay. Actually a good bite, by the way. Hmm. He already lost, by the way. Oh, bro. It's actually hilarious. GG, brother. Oh, this guy is very good. It just uh, got a little bit unlucky with the blocks. Simple as that. But holy fucking shit. This is not just 10,000. This is way more than 10,000. This is more like 20,000. Holy cow, brother. This guy's gear is insane. Jesus Christ. Wow. All right. So this is what it looks like. And we're just going to go into the game. We're going to dump everything and we're going to go again. Alright, so pretty much I've been trying to kite this wither for past like 3 minutes. And um, for the most part he's been missing his heads. He hit me a couple of times with a fireball. And basically I'm just trying to um, push him best of my abilities. Each and every hit he does actually does quite a good chunk of damage. But my gear set is pretty good. It's a slightly better version of the previous kit. I just want to showcase you um, how to deal with classes like this one. I wouldn't really suggest anyone to play against uh, Wizard, especially in the Cleric, because it's just going to be such a pain to ask. But um, this guy had um, pretty much like additional 6 magical damage. And also he already wasted all his zaps. Actually, no, he still should have zaps, but I do believe he has... A he have additional spells, because he like used 8 fireballs or something. I gotta try to use Q's throw. It seems like it actually works. Oh, it actually does. Yeah, let's, let's go after. Oh, he rubber banded, I think. He died. Okay. GG. Yeah, it really seemed like even on my screen that you're rubber banded. Sometimes it happens to me too. Like you just teleport back in time. It's the server issue, and there is nothing could be done. Let's quickly check what the guy has. I do believe this guy has at least 6 additional magical damage. Oh yeah, actually pretty good gear. Bunch of extra health. He aimed for the right stats. Even though this wither is on the budget side, he have six health. He have additional magical. He did the right thing. Looks like we have someone here. Someone opened all the gates. Oh look, there is a guy there. That's another cleric, by the way. That's the lobster belt. He used the copper um copper set. I'm gonna fight him. No mercy here. Not sure why would he pop two spells at the same time. But I did fuck up a little. Oh, and that was a headshot, by the way. Oh no, just a body shot. Okay. I'm gonna turn right now. And one more. And he's dead. GG, brother. Okay. His gear is actually quite fancy, though. <laughs> not bad. Not a bad replacement. I could take that buckler. Has additional armor. Pretty good stats. Yo, those spans are actually quite decent. And an additional move speed. Not a bad kit. 
This whole lobby is geared, bro. Holy cow. So many capes. We gotta hunt them down. Everybody. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised I wasn't able to find anyone. But luckily we come across someone. Oh, that's the guy. There's a lot more agility and a lot more true damage. Okay, he's onto something. Headshot. I missed. I missed again. I'm dead. Headshot. He died. Holy cow. One body shot. Two headshot and judgment. I did miss all my hits. But at least I did headshot it. If I would be hitting those limbs, I better actually go for headshots than for limbs. He just moved in the very last moment, that's why I ended up missing. It's not like I missed my hits, more like he fucking dodged them. I already pre-inspected this guy's gear in the pre-lobby. His stuff is pretty good. Action, action, move speed, armor, armor. Actually a very good replacement kit, like not even joking. Okay, not sure why he brought a gray buckler. Definitely could have done better than that, but still. Overall, this kit is multiple thousand gold. My current gear set is built up with a regular interaction speed, armor, and um, health. His, though, is probably equivalent of mine because mine doesn't have any true and he does. For the last three minutes, I've been trying to push a barb around. Pretty much, I chased him into the static. And um, there's one thing I noticed that someone early on was killing the cyclops. So basically, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in and we're gonna try to contest if someone is still here. I got hit a little, but it's not that deep. It's not that late, so if the guy ended up healing the both troll and cyclops, there is a chance that he is mining the gold. Okay, he looted everything here. Hope that's not a rogue. Don't want to get fucking landmined. <laughs> rogue landmine can actually kill me so fucking easily, you don't even understand. I could die to a rogue so easily. Okay, he probably recognized. Oh, oh, I'm bad. I'm bad this game. Okay. That's a dead end. Let's use the blue potion. Even if he hit me a couple of times, it's not that deep. Okay, that does hurt a little. Oh, let's pretend we are scared. Let's use another blue pot, let him push a little. It's okay if he hits me a couple of times, it's not that deep. Pika Vista. E. One, one more. Double headshot. GG. This guy is also super geared. I also saw him in the pre lobby. Oh, holy cow, he also got a build. Not bad. I'm not 100% certain why did he try to build both armor and, um, you know, dexterity, all those stats. Don't bother with armor unless you have enough health. If anything, aim for health and the right stats to increase your attack speed. That's definitely gonna be more helpful than uh, armor. Unless you go for like 40-50% PDR rogue, don't even bother trying to build armor. Just a waste, complete waste. Alright, into the next game we go. Okay. I seen a guy running around the corner right here north. The guy didn't seem to be that geared. You gotta be careful. Hopefully that's not a rogue. Oh. Oh wow. That was quite incredible. God damn, brother. Hmm. <laughs> Good thing I was actually playing with a budget gear, but um holy fuck, that was insane. Wait a second, he's level 68 and he previously never played as a rogue? Hmm. It's kinda sus though. He headshotted me three times. He definitely headshotted me three times because I had a uh, 50% PDR and uh, 150 health. There's just no way he would physically be able to, you know, do that much damage. I'm genuinely surprised how he was able to land three headshots while uh, I was mid jump as well. This guy is probably either one of the best rogues in the game or he's cheating. So one of two. I died eight times so far and out of eight times, three times people got banned. Well, obviously, they were just cheating. The thing is, this guy is a new character and level 68. Yup, I mean, you do tend to die as the cleric. Pretty much, this is what my current stats are for the cleric. So far, I played 67 games. I extracted 56 times. I died 11 times. Um, 8 times I died to rogues, including the last game where I died to rogue. And um, 
in that last game. I know that guy. Now that I think of it, I rewatched that whole moment and I've noticed one thing in particular. He headshotted me three times when it's so not easy to headshot people three times, especially when the people, you know, doing the mid jump animation. And basically, I know I didn't report him. I kind of forgot about it. I didn't even bother too much. But the thing is, I had 150 health, 50% PDR kit. And um, he just killed me so easily. Like, holy cow, that guy is either one of the best rogues players or he's got lucky or he's good or he's cheater. One of possible things could happen. By the way, I promise that I'm going to show you what I ended up getting from the today's play session. This is pretty much every single piece that I end up getting. I'm going to slow it down here for anyone who is curious. You can see that each and every piece right here is looted and the looted status comes from the people that you kill. And um, basically when you take their stuff, um, well, the item is going to transfer to the looted status. So pretty much basically this is it. Every, each and every item right here has looted status. For anyone curious, I don't know even know how much gold there is. Um, majority of this is pretty good. Some of this isn't. This is just a trophy for me personally. I didn't want to, even though I don't think this is a good piece. It's just a cool little trophy here. Bunch of daggers, bunch of rogues. Also got a little bit of this. Um, some of this stuff isn't that expensive, like this dagger, for example. But some of this pretty expensive, I would say. A um, couple of green smiles. A couple of daggers with additional damage. A couple of cloaks with additional damage. Pretty good attire. Pretty much, we got a lot of stuff, I feel like, for today's session. I didn't include each and every fight because um, I messed up and um, I corrupted like um, at least <laughs> one and a half hour of footage because I ran out of space and I completely forgot about it. And somehow, even though I ran out of space, my PC was performing normally, but uh, none of the stuff that I was recording was actually recording. So, but I did try to include all the best um, kills that I ended up getting and pretty much all the best kills you could see right here. If, um, you know, you probably should be able to see some familiarities uh, with the stuff that I have shown in today's video. Anyway, I genuinely like Cleric and I'm going to be honest with you, if anything, I better have Cleric as the top tier class rather than Warlock, Ranger, Wizard or Bard or Rogue for a very very simple reason because well why i don't want to have a rogue on top well basically for the same reason just that just happened to me i walked into the guy and well i saw the after image and then the very next thing happened he had shot at me three times and i died and basically why i don't want to have ranger on top well because well basically the whole gameplay will become a range like um it's not going to be a Dark and darker is going to be like a range and uh, just <laughs> it's going to become an epic fucking legends or something. And why do I not want to um, have warlocks or wizards? Well, imagine like a gameplay of two people throwing fireballs at each other. Well, if the wizard's going to be on top, that's what it would look like. And the warlocks, if you want to know what the warlock going to look like at the um, high end gameplay, well, pretty much imagine infinite battle of a people who just drain each other hells suck each other balls and fight for like fucking 10 minutes straight until the fucking portal spawns and they just extract together this is what a warlock gameplay would look like at the end of the you know if the warlock would be an absolute top tier warlock is still top tier very gear dependent but uh, well not as much as wizard but uh, warlock is still s tier but uh, right about warlock there is cleric and basically, yeah, I already mentioned everything already. Anyway, with this, the video gonna come to an end. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's Timo, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out.